Hey everybody, the bang is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Bart and the Beanstalk for the Game Boy, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, right now I'm in the giant's castle. After getting a snack and had to be warned not to touch the three giant's positions. Oh, great thumbtack. And jumping rats. That's always fun. There. Problem solved. Where am I going to find some gold coins to? Well, let's go back here. No, you said... Ow! I was supposed to know that was going to hurt me. Okay, I know a way to avoid that. If I did, I had very little chance. Yay! With dynamite! Now, what shit am I going to blow up today? Oh, come on, that wasn't supposed to hit me. Okay, try to grab as many gold coins as I can. Get some more here, apparently. I'll get those ones down here. Perfect, I'm in pretty good shape to get far in this. hit another obstacle. Oop, dead end. Guess I'm not supposed to go this way. But I grabbed some coins, so I'm happy. Guess I'm supposed to take the high path. So let's get to it. Now, again... Oh, that same one. Nope, there's some back here. Alright, this time I'll go this way. Oh yeah, there's more gold coins here. Perfect. Yeah, I'll get some invincibility for a bit. Perfect. Ow. Ow. Gotta dodge it. Which again? Oh yeah, perfect timing there, Bonga. I guess boss time. Nope, you just go on to the end. Okay, so this is the soup du jour. Basically, you gotta alternate from meatball to meatball. And watch out for the bubbles, of course. Like, you can tell which ones are so big that eventually they're going to pop on you. Oh, yeah, and watch out for the salt, too. So apparently, birds cannot handle sodium. Keep jumping from meatball to meatball, do not try to go lower than you need to, because you will always sink. The good news is that the gold coins always keep alternating, and what the hell? That wasn't supposed to touch me. He was clearly shaking somewhere else. You saw that. Ah, uh, 12.40. I mean, that's what time it is where I'm at. Okay, this is pretty much where Splinter Cell got some inspiration. Do not stay in the light for too long. If you stay in the light for like over five seconds or something, the giant will grab you and you will lose a life instantly. Like that, see? You want to be extra vigilant. Yay, got some money. Apparently he likes his whiskey. What giant doesn't like their whiskey? A non-alcoholic giant, of course. Maybe a giant from the Nation of Islam or something? And that was a bad idea. 
Just do not stay in the light for too long. Otherwise, you'd be screwed. Okay, I found some refuge. No. Well, I'll take a hit, I don't care. It's not a major one. As long as I'm getting enough gold coins, it'll make a difference. God, there's hardly any shade of darkness. Whoa! I didn't think that platform was going to collapse. Okay, good. I thought I was safe there by that lantern. Obviously not. Oh, I found the harp. Okay, maybe I won't be grabbed instantly, I just gradually take damage. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, I still gotta find that goose with the golden eggs. It's gotta be around somewhere. Probably the last thing you grab at the end of the level. I wouldn't be surprised. What are those fireflies or something? I'm not even gonna bother to shoot them. They'd be much more trouble than they're worth. There we go. Yay, I'm done the level. Grabbing anything that wasn't nailed down, Bart bolted from the castle with the gold, the harp, and the goose. Following right behind him was the very angry giant, very angry and very hungry giant. Oh dear god. That's one giant giant, said Bart as he ran for his life. Redundant sentence is redundant. Now, this is pretty much a repeat of a level you have already done, which was actually stage two, and what the fuck just happened? I don't know about you, but I fell through the cloud. Do not stay to the right, because if you do, you will be grabbed and lose a life. Yep, apparently Homer has smelly fingers. Which explains everything. I was hoping to grab that invincibility and make a bolt for it, no pun intended. Trust me, this is a game, you, like I said before, you have to save state. Or just get through on trial and error. Like, if you can get through this game on trial and error, I mean, good for you. You've had to practice this a lot. Definitely not something I'm proud of. Alright. Okay, now we're back at this part. The gate window, pretty much. At least there's lots of gold coins here. I should get plenty of points. If points are your fancy. Not mine, but they're a little something to brag about, if you can care about it. Oh, there's those back and forth missiles that I cannot duck. Is this safe? No, what was the point of that path? There's just not enough time. So you pretty much have to, like, bolt through it and take hits. Uh-oh. Okay, safe ground. Just gotta be extra... Damn it. Eh, eh, there we go. Okay, I'll take a hit there. Woo! Okay, this looks like the end. Yay! 
Okay, now we're at a parachute card. Do not, do not stay too far up. Because if you do, you'll also be grabbed by the giant. Luckily, the gold coins are a pretty good guide. Okay, what the hell? Like, there's none of these enemies you can even hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna lose a life. Try again, man! Yep, you have to start over no matter what level you're on. That is a pain in the ass. The fact that you have to start over every single level you fail on. You have to go through the gold coins to be a lot easier on you. Oh, that was close. I wouldn't exactly call this a repeat of level 1, but you're going down the beanstalk. Which was reverse of what you did in level 1 when you went up the beanstalk. Should be close to the end by now. Okay, I'll take a hit there. And I'll take another one. Oh good, I'm done. Let me take the axe and... You know what happens. Before the giant could reach the bottom, Bart grabbed an axe and chopped down the beanstalk. The giant fell with a thud. Bart's house shook so much the whole family ran out to see what had happened. Not noticing his son was missing the whole time, of course. <laughs> that's funny. Bart showed him the gold, the harp, and the goose. They were all so excited they were speechless. Except for Homer, who said, That's one ugly giant. Bart's family used the money to buy a new cow. And the money made by selling the goose's golden eggs kept Homer rolling in donuts for the rest of his life. The End. And that's it! That's The Simpsons, Bart and the Beanstalk for the Game Boy. That game was a bit of a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, and the story just repeats. So stay tuned for my next Let's Play, whatever that may be. So this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play.